Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effing sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to use IX2 interactions and cookies to only play your loading animation once per day. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example, and when we reload the page, we don't see any loading animation. By default, an IX2 interaction on load will play every single time. But since I visited the site before, we're not going to see it. If I clear my 24 hour cookie and then reload the page, we see the IX2 animation play. And if I reload again and reload again, we don't see anything. We only play this IX2 animation once per day. In Designer, we have a loading wrapper placed above the rest of the site content so we can load it before everything else loads on the page. We've given it a class of Hack 10 loading wrapper and set it to Display None. In our Interactions panel, we have a page load set up for this page. In our page load, we are targeting the Hack 10 loading wrapper and it is set to Display Flex then move to opacity zero, then to display none. This is a very, very simple interaction for this hack, but your interaction can be highly complex. It can be whatever you want. It can have 50 different steps. As long as everything is in one single page load interaction, this hack will work for you. Let's break this code down line by line. We're going to insert our script inside the head tag. We are not going to insert it before the closing body tag. And the reason is we need the script to execute as fast as possible. We cannot wait for the rest of the page to render. We can't wait until the end of the body. We have to make the decision to play or not play the loading animation immediately. So we're inside the head tag. We're not using jQuery, we're using JavaScript here. First, we're going to set a style of display none to our page wrapper. We are doing this so we don't get any page flicker. If you don't set it to display none, it's possible that you see a slight flicker of content before the loading wrapper. And we are going to set our page wrapper to display block inside our script. And since it's in the head, there is no delay here. We don't see any loss or delay of bringing that content to life. Okay, let's jump into the script. First, we're going to add our JS cookie library. This is gonna let us work with cookies in a really easy way. And now on to our custom script. We are going to listen for when the DOM content is loaded. And when we are loaded, we are going to run our function, which decides if we've been to the site before, and then it's going to set things to display, flex, or hidden based on our past activity. First, we're going to get a reference to the page wrapper. Our page wrapper is where everything is hit, is held all of our, our page content, and we're going to set that as a variable called page wrapper. Then we're going to get a reference to our loading wrapper, which is our hack 10 loading wrapper, and we're going to store that as a variable called loading wrapper. Then we're going to define a scene GIF animation. This is the cookie that we're going to give to the user after they visit the site. So we are creating this cookie and it is called scene animation and we're creating a variable called scene animation. Now we're going to run an if statement and the if statement says, if the scene animation cookie is undefined, go ahead and run this code. What does that mean? If the scene gift cookie is, scene animation cookie is undefined, that means the user's never been to the site. That means the user doesn't have that cookie, we've never seen them before, we can go ahead and run this code. If they load the site and we do see the scene animation cookie, that means they've been here before. We've given them the cookie, we see it, we're good, we don't need to run this code, we'll then jump to the else code. Let's go up to the first time visitor code. 
So we don't have the scene animation cookie. We are going to show them the loading animation by setting the loading wrapper, which we defined up here, to a style display flex. Notice how this is JavaScript. This is not jQuery. We cannot use it because we're in the head. So we're setting this loading wrapper to flex, and then we're going to set our page wrapper with the content to block. And we're going to do that after we time out for 3000 milliseconds. Set timeout is just wait. So we're going to wait for three seconds and then we're going to set our page wrapper to block. Why three seconds? Because that's how long our loading animation is. If your loading animation is one second, set it to 1000. If it's eight seconds, set it to 8000. And it's really nice, we can set longer animations because we're only gonna play it once. So if they keep reloading, they're not going to be annoyed. It's just a one-time view. So now you can get a little bit more creative with these loading animations. And great, so now we are, we showed them the loading wrapper, we showed them the page content, the site's now loaded as normal, and of course we're going to give them our cookie. We're tagging them, we're letting them, we're letting ourselves know that the user's been to the site before. So we're giving them our scene animation cookie. We're giving that cookie a value of one. We're not using the value, so it doesn't matter what this is, but we give them the cookie, that's the important part. And we're going to make it expire. At some point in the future, we will want to show the user the loading animation again. So we set it for one day, you can set it for one week, oh, 71 days, one week for, around one month, whatever you want. And then after that cookie expires, it will not be defined anymore and they'll go through this if statement again. But we're doing one day and we are happy with that. It's great. Now the user doesn't see this code until they reload the page again. Now let's go through this code as a second time viewer. So we start with this if statement, uh, it is the scene animation is defined. We have gone through this code. We have the cookie. And now we're going to jump right to the else statement. And we're going to set the loading wrapper to hidden. We are not going to show them the loading wrapper. And then we are going to set our page wrapper to display block. So in this case, they're not seeing the loading. They're just seeing the page content. And that's it, that is the end of this script. You now have the power to show and hide IX2 animations based on past site activity. And I'll quickly go over this clear cookie part of the script. This is not needed on your live site, it's just for the hack template. But if you want the user to be able to clear their cookies, we have a clear cookie class on, clear cookie class on our button and on click, we're going to remove our scene animation cookie. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.